Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes and I'm gonna take the dialysis tubing out and we're just left over with the water and if anything actually came out of the dialysis tubing. So I'm gonna pour about five mils in each of the tubes. Okay, each tube has about five mils of the solution that was surrounding the baggie in it. And I'm gonna use this iodine here to test the presence of a starch. So normally, if there's just water in the container, then it'll turn the solution um, kind of like a sweet tea color. But if there's starch, it'll turn black. So let's see. So it didn't turn black. That lets us know that there was no starch in the container. So starch did not leave the baggie. And for the next one, we're gonna do 20 drops of Benedict solution. And it actually has to sit in a boiling water bath for a couple of minutes. And if there is glucose present, which is a monosaccharide, um, Benedict's is an indicator for monosaccharides. If there is glucose present, then we will see a color change. It could be green, it could be orange. If there's a lot of sugar present, it could be red, or there could be no change at all. So we're just gonna wait here for just a minute and see what happens. Okay, so right now it's green. Looks like there is at least some sugar present and let's see if it'll turn orange. Turning orange. Okay, there we go. So we have a good bit of glucose that's present. So we know that in the fluid that was surrounding the dialysis tubing, we have no starch, but we do have glucose. And it's up to you to decide why one left the baggie and the other one didn't. Oh, this is nice and bright orange now. This is nice, it's almost red. So, and think about that and try and relate it back to your intestines and think about why it's important to break down molecules from say a carbohydrate like starch to a monosaccharide like glucose before it's absorbed by the body.